<laughs> you guys are terrible. Totally agreed, though. Ouch. Not surprised to hear that from you, though, Reen. She always seems to dump the most work on you. Will you be helping the student council again tomorrow? That's the plan. Heck, I'm almost looking forward to being the student council's errand boy after holding up studying for so long. Perhaps so. Oh, please let us know if you plan on exploring the old schoolhouse. Yeah, I'd be glad to lend a hand this time. Thanks. Better watch out, though. I might take you up on that offer. Ooh, looks like we're all up for a little exploration this time. Come to think of it, where did Gaius run off to? He mentioned the principal wanted to have a word with him. You think he went there? Oh, yeah. Wonder what that was about. I hope he hasn't gotten into trouble. I mean, I doubt he would. I have no idea. He and Laura left early, too. I was kind of hoping we could all walk back to the dorm together for once. That sounds nice. Hmm. Hmm? Hey, so this might just be my imagination, but do those two seem kind of awkward around each other to anyone else? R really So you think so, too? It seems like it started around the beginning of the month. I wonder if something happened then. It's like they've been avoiding each other ever since. Hmm. You say that, but I did not take either as the type to dwell on petty issues or misunderstandings. Neither did I. We've been trying to suss out what the problem between them is, but so far, no luck. I wonder if that's what that was all about. Did you see something, Machius? What happened? Well, do you remember the day we gave our group reports on what happened during last month's field study? We gave a truthful account, including the part where Fee used an explosive to blast open the door to my cell. Yeah? That's when we found out that Fee used to be in a Jaeger Corps. That really threw me for a loop, but what does that have to do with Laura? Well, when that came up, I couldn't help but notice Laura had a rather unpleasant expression. It flashed across her face for only a moment, though, so I wondered if I had just imagined it. Interesting. But even if we assume that's true, what reason would she have to be upset? I can hardly hazard a guess. We all have certain things we'd rather keep to ourselves. We even have a member of this very class who remains tight-lipped about her own family, after all. Do you really have to drag me into this? My apologies. I meant no offense. I do have my suspicions as to your lineage, however. Really? Ugh, you. Now, now. Getting angry won't accomplish anything. Don't worry. We're not gonna twist your arm into telling us. When you're ready to talk about it, we'll be ready to listen. Uh, it's not like I'm trying to make a big deal out of it or anything. It's just... If everyone knew, it didn't make things awkward between us, and I don't want that. Welcome back, my lady. Huh? What? Sharon? It's so delightful to see you again. Oh, hey. It's that maid I ran into the other day. You know her? What are you doing here? She didn't. Mother didn't... <laughs> but of course, I was sent here at the behest of the chairman herself. Starting today, I will be assuming the position of caretaker for Class 7's dormitory. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, everyone. My name is Sharon Kruger. I am a servant in the employ of the Reinford household, Lady Elisa's family. I will do all I can to be of service to you, so please keep me informed of anything you might need. <laughs> 